I am Anna Warfield. I am an artist based in upstate New York who works with fiber and text to create soft sculptural installations um, that typically deal with themes of gender, sexuality, uh, female existence um, in contemporary society. The language um, and the pieces themselves tend to revolve around the body, thoughts, and existence. There's a lot of contradictions in the language that I use um, and in the installation of the pieces themselves. The structure of the pieces matters. Um, a lot of the times the pieces are presented in this sort of vertical manner where the words sort of act as this um, sort of bodily form in space. Um, they confront the viewer both in the language that's being used and their scale and presence in, in the room. Currently, my line of work is moving in a direction where both the piece speaks uh, to the viewer and kind of is self-referential in the way it presents itself. So my most recent work, um, The Way the Mind's in Love with Contradiction, which is the same title um, as this current exhibition, um, considers uh, sort of contradictory feelings. The language kind of oscillates between um, forward motion and kind of gets you nowhere, it is presented in this sort of spiraling manner, asks the viewer in order to read the piece to circle it multiple times. And, and in doing so, this sort of run-on sentence um, reveals itself to be confusing and the idea is that the viewer will get lost in the piece trying to find their way to the end. And once they're at the end, they won't quite know where the beginning was and like what the, what the true narrative between the piece is. So it's meant to be a confusing piece that is challenging to follow. The work tends to be um, pink <laughs> most often, um, and that comes from a place of me fully embracing sort of the idea that femininity um, can mean power and does mean power um, after kind of existing in a space uh, for a long period of time where I tried to repress that part of myself and not embrace that both as an individual and as an artist. Um, leaning in directions with mediums that kind of had a more masculine feel, you couldn't quite tell the gender of the artist behind the work, um, and kind of subverting that now and kind of fully embracing both the color pink, which in the contemporary society um, from a Western lens tends to identify um, femininity, um, as well as uh, materially, the work is created from fabric, which is historically associated with women's work, um, maybe the craft movement, um, and trying to bring that into sort of a more questioning why it, it gets kind of put into these places but also to bring it into a more contemporary um, fine arts realm in its presentation and consideration and that conversation. <laughs> Um, the material itself does matter to me. Uh, typically these pieces are made completely with fibrous materials um, from start to finish. I mean, the light fabric, soft, plush quality of the work, um, often with recycled or <laughs> uh, low cost materials, um, it matters. It, it, it speaks to kind of a frugal sort of approach to making. Um, as something that I think highlights what it's like to be a living, working <laughs> artist who's uh, trying to make it by um, and wanting to do big things with that while simultaneously engaging um, knowingly um, with what it means to be working with material again that's historically associated with women's work and trying to bring that um, 
up in conversation both around the pieces, the content of the pieces, um, as well as within the context of fine arts and what does it mean to be a fine artwork. Um, does it have to be a painting? Um, does it have to be of wood? Questions like that. Language-wise, I think I've always been interested in uh, the contrast between language or how I can say something um, in a room and it might get completely obliterated and then repeated exactly the same way by somebody else um, and suddenly it's heard and kind of questioning that sort of um, odd experience or saying the same thing upside down and backwards and sideways in order for it to stick in the minds of others. Yeah, so I'd say overall the work is really just about embracing femininity, taking a firm and uh, strong stance on that it's okay to kind of engage with these spaces and redefine what it means to be in them and reclaim communication space from that position um, and to posit questions for everyone. I feel if I have the platform to take over a gallery space, I want to use that time to stir conversations that might be challenging. Um, and that might be uh, complicated for um, someone to bridge over coffee.